Hello, Jet Setters. I'm Jeb Brooks with Greenergrass.com. And I'm Gary Kelly, CEO of Southwest Airlines. So I've got to ask you, Gary, why are people so obsessed with your airline? Because our people are the best, they offer the greatest service at the lowest price, bags fly free, and there's freedom and justice for all. Well, we're about to find out because I'm flying Southwest. Let's check it out. This is one of the most requested videos I've ever made. So I asked the Twitter sphere what makes the airline so special. I got a ton of responses. It's clear people love Southwest, perhaps none more so than their own employees. And since bags fly for free on Southwest, let's check this one in. My one and a half hour flight from Raleigh to Tampa looked to be on time, so I explored the gate area a bit. Now, Southwest does not offer lounges. The good news about that? No lounge coffee. <laughs> Espresso. Southwest's boarding process is a real differentiator for the airline. You won't have a seat assignment on a Southwest flight. You're free instead to choose any available seat on the plane. You're assigned a place in line rather than a seat, and the earlier you check in, the better your spot in line. Prior to boarding, passengers line up according to their assigned spot and gate agents begin the process. You can guarantee an earlier spot by either buying a business select ticket or upgrading your boarding position, which guarantee that you'll have one of the first spots in line. This unique procedure is designed to reduce the amount of time Southwest planes are on the ground. After all, a plane that's sitting at a gate is not a plane that's generating revenue for an airline. It's important for you to know that this video, like all of my videos, abides by my sponsorship policy. I'll link to it here and, and in the description, but you can always check it out at jeb.flights slash sponsors. Uh, that outlines exactly how I work with sponsors. This is not a sponsored video. Shortly, my airplane arrived from Nashville. The ground crew got to work turning the airplane around with typical Southwest Airlines efficiency. By the way, if you haven't seen it, please check out the video I made about the secret life of your luggage. The teams that work down here on the ramp are some hard-working professionals. I'll link it here. Boarding is always exciting, particularly when it's on an airline I haven't flown in such a long time. Now, as I mentioned, this is not a sponsored video, but the Southwest team did learn I'd be on the flight and offered me the opportunity to pre-board in order to get some extra footage to share with you. However, I paid for my ticket, so my opinions are, as always, my own. This 737-700 offers 143 17-inch wide seats with 31 inches of pitch. And yes, this should do it just behind the wing. Love watching a wing work its magic. These seats don't offer power or built-in entertainment. Southwest does offer streaming and flight entertainment, which we'll look at once we get in the air, but be sure all of your devices are powered up. There's a standard tray table and plenty of room for my backpack under the seat. And because passengers can check two bags for free, the overhead bins don't fill up as quickly as on other airlines. Each seat has a passenger service unit with a light individual air vents, and a flight attendant call button. And once I'd settled in, I began to have the same thought as most every solo Southwest passenger. Who's going to take the seat next to mine? A few minutes later, after I sat down, a gentleman joined me in the aisle seat. And then shortly after that, the greatest announcement known to man. Boarding complete. And nobody had taken that middle seat. I'd just gotten a free upgrade. Unlike other airlines, if you need to change your flight, all you'll pay with Southwest is the difference in fare, if there is any. Other airlines charge fees of as much as $200 to change. Oh, and if you cancel, you'll get a credit to use in the future. Internet access is available for a fee or for free for some members of Southwest's frequent flyer program. But movies and live TV are available at no cost to everybody. Now, I ended up with split-screen entertainment. I watched Ocean's Eleven on my iPad and the world through the window. Drinks are available for purchase, and 
free snacks, that's a small package of pretzels, are provided to passengers. Southwest doesn't sell food on their plane, so if you're flying on one of their longer routes, be sure to bring your own food. If you want to fly with Southwest, you'll have to head over to southwest.com. You cannot book them using other travel websites. I had a great trip with Southwest. They're a no-frills airline, and in a way, a bit of a paradox. On one hand, every seat is the same, but at the same time, because of the way they board, you never know exactly which one you'll get, so there's a bit of excitement there. The crew on this flight were very friendly and customer focused, which in my opinion is what makes or breaks a flight. Now I remembered a lot more jokes from my last Southwest crew, but that was 10 years ago or more. This was a six smile flight. Happy employees, free bags, open seating, an empty middle seat, free entertainment, great crew. What's not to love? And I can understand why so many people are obsessed. But the even better question is why I took this flight in the first place. Let's go back to Southwest CEO Gary Kelly for the answer. I had a great flight on Southwest. I got to say thank you to you and your team. I'm glad that we served you well, sir. <laughs> you Thanks did. for your business. But uh, I think a pressing question is why in the world it, am I sitting with you, the CEO of Southwest? Well, Jeb, this is a great event. This is the Tony Janus Award. And one thing that they do every year is the Tony Janus Society raises money for some very deserving scholars. So they're giving away six um, awards uh, tonight. And we're also here to honor the latest Tony Janus Award winner, which is uh, Dr. Thomas Enders, former CEO for Airbus. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm having Gary Kelly in front of me and on stage. Reminds me of one of my biggest failures in my business life. <laughs> <laughs> Despite all my efforts, we have not managed to sell a single Airbus <laughs> to Southwest. I'm a, a member of the society and a very proud one at that, and we're the number one airline here in Tampa, by the way, uh, so it's always a great uh, opportunity for me to be back here in the Tampa Bay area. But. Uh, be sure to subscribe because I've got a video coming up about the Janus Award and the legacy. Uh, for those that don't know, the very first commercial flight in world history took place right here. So uh, coming soon, a video about that. Uh, but I always end my videos in a way that I'm sure Gary is intimately familiar with, with a little catchphrase. See you in the sky on Southwest. <laughs> well played. Thanks so much. Thank this you, was Jim. great. Appreciate I really you. appreciate it.